To balance this equation, we have magnesium sulfate plus sodium phosphate, and this is a double displacement reaction. The sodium and the magnesium, they're gonna switch places. And with double displacement reactions, we have a little trick that can help us balance the equation. So let's count the atoms up on each side. We have magnesium, one, and then SO4. We have it here and we have it here. It's called the sulfate ion, it stays together. So we're just gonna count this as one item. It's gonna make things a lot easier. Sodium, we have three of those. And then PO4, we have it here, it stays together. PO4 is over here again. Let's just call it one thing. And we have one PO4, one phosphate ion. On the product side, three magnesiums, one sulfate ion. Sodium, we have two of those. And then the phosphate, the PO4, we have one times two. So we have two phosphates. And you can see this is a lot neater. We only have four things here and the oxygens are really easy to count up. So let's balance the magnesiums First, we could put a three as our coefficient, one times three, that would give us three magnesium atoms, so those would be balanced. Three applies to everything, so the one sulfate times three, that gives us three sulfate ions. Let's balance the sulfates next and see what happens with this sodium here. So we have three here and one here. We'll put a three in front of the sodium sulfate. So we have one sulfate times three, so now the sulfates are balanced, but we have two times three for the sodiums. That gives us six of those. Well, that's pretty easy to fix. We have three here and six here. If we put a two in front of the sodium phosphate, that'll fix the sodiums. That might even fix the phosphate, the PO4. Let's see, three times two, that gives us six. Sodiums are balanced. And then one phosphate, one PO4 times the two, that gives us two, and that's balanced. So we're done, this equation is balanced. And I think you can see that by counting these ions, these polyatomic ions, as one thing, if they appear on both sides, that makes it a lot easier. This is Dr. B with the balanced equation for MgSO4 plus Na3PO4. Thanks for watching.